How much do you think this concept of the metaverse is going to be dominant in the tech trends next year? Well, it's already huge. Like, for example, right now, we're speaking through the metaverse. Uh, the metaverse has been around for a while. The internet's almost a, an early version of it. Um, I myself got involved very early. My first product management job was Worlds Away, which is a Fujitsu software, two and a half D animated environment. And so we're already in it and it's already evolving and it's already a central part of our lives. Uh, the interesting question, of course, is where to begin to approach science fiction that you see in the movies, you know, Ready Player One, other kinds of things where lots of people get into much more immersive environments. And I think you'll first see that in entertainment. I think you'll first see that as, hey, when, when, when um, kind of like 3D games or 3D hangout spaces become more of a, like a concert, uh, you know, something else become more present there, then I think you'll see more. But I think there's going to be a ton of investment in it over, you know, I think we're in another huge cycle of it. But Reed, so much of this depends on sort of how you define the metaverse, right? I've also read that the metaverse has to be interoperable. It's not really the metaverse. If it's not immersive, you're not wearing VR. So there are all of these different factors at play. But I want to ask you about the company formerly known as Facebook, now Meta, which you also invested in in the early days. What do you make of its pivot to focus on the metaverse? And do you think that Facebook is going to be, or sorry, Meta is going to be the dominant platform when it comes to the metaverse? So obviously they have a lot of raw assets, uh, you know, billions of people, a lot of communications, a lot of identity and presence. Part of the whole web two was identity and your real identity put online. So I think there's a lot of something they've been investing in it with Oculus. Um, the Oculus device is a very good device. And I think they that they're one of the drivers of this. On the other hand, I don't think that the, I think the real cases will come down to use cases. It'll come down to what are people using? The reason I was gesturing at entertainment, which doesn't seem to be exactly what Meta is focused on. It's more focused on a new communications environment, you know, thinking that uh, the metaverse will be the thing past your phone. Um, and a little bit of what I was gesturing at is I actually think your phone is already the metaverse and, and it's the iterations of a phone, not actually, in fact, we're all wearing goggles, you know, in March of next year, even though with, of course, fears of Omicron and all the rest, which are very legitimate and founded, you end up with that, oh, maybe we're going to all move to the metaverse sooner. And it's like, no, like we like seeing each other, you know, uh, uh, you know, three million of our four million neural uh, inputs come from our eyes, which a lot has to do with looking at people's faces. And so I think that that's the, 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 uh, uh, that's the reason why I think it will require this kind of entertainment, other kinds of, of jumps before we get to, well, is it a communications platform?